J. He's got the chipmunk cheeks. <laughs> hey, He's got the chipmunk cheeks. <laughs> okay. Now, Sabrina and Gerald, we have gathered here today to witness your marriage and to share in the joy of this occasion. Life takes on meaning as it becomes comprised of many small, meaningful events, and some of which can be specified and planned for, just like today. One of those events is your marriage. And as you know, no minister, no priest, no rabbi, or public official can really marry you. Only you can marry yourselves by mutual commitment to love each other and to work towards creating an atmosphere of care, commitment, and respect, and that willingness to face the tensions and anxieties that sometimes underlie human life. Only you can make your wedded life Come alive. Now love, it's not meant to be and cannot be in the possession of one person alone. True love, well that serves as a source of a common energy. That's a fount from which both of you can draw substance to live your lives with a creative courage. And from this day onward, you get to come closer together than ever before. You must love one another in sickness and in health, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. And at the same time, let your love give you that strength to stand apart in the world so you may each seek out your own unique and individual destinies. But you do get to make the special contributions to the world. The poet Rilke once said that Marriage is not a matter of making a quick community of spirit by tearing down and destroying all the boundaries, but rather a good marriage is in which each appoints each other as a guardian of their own solitude. And once the realization is accepted that even between the closest people, there's an infinite of distances that exist. This is a marvelous living side by side that can grow up for them if you succeed in loving the expanse between them. This gives you the possibility of always seeing each other as whole and before an immense and beautiful sky. And today, as you join yourselves in marriage, there is that vast and unknown future that's stretching out before you. These possibilities and the potentials of your married life are great. And now it does fall upon your shoulders, this task of choosing the values and realizing your dreams. So I have a few wishes for you today. First of all, I wish for you a love that makes you both better people. It's a love that continues to give you joy and a zest for living in which it can provide you the energy to face those challenges and responsibilities of life. I also wish for you a home, not just a place of stone and wood, but really an island of sanity and serenity in this frenzy world. Now I hope for you that this home is not only a place of private joy and retreat, but also can serve as a temple where the values of your lives is generated and upheld. And I hope that your home will encompass the beauty of nature and have within it the elements of simplicity, endurance, silence, color, and concordance that goes along with the rhythms of life. I wish for you a home full of books and poetry, music and spirituality, a home with all the things are meant to represent the highest strivings of men and women. I also wish for you some children. Now, I don't want those to be just the reflections of who you are, but let them learn from you. Get those best traits, and they get to go forward and recreate the values that you've instilled in them. And I hope that you'll pass on to your children the concept of family, not as an obligation, but as that transcendent force which brings people closer in times of joy and sometimes in times of need. Finally, I wish for you, at the end of your lives, you get to say two things to one another. Because 
you have loved me you have given me faith in myself and because I have seen the good in you I have received within you but faith in all of humanity now these vows that you're going to tell each other which you accept one another as husband and as wife really have no hidden power within them it's really only to the extent that you get to express in words this continuing intention and commitment that you have to one another in a world where we have lots of pressures that continuously push people apart and sometimes may even feel stronger than what can draw you together remember that this commitment that you have to one another may need to be creatively re-expressed in many different ways in the coming days and years. The expression in today's vows is really important. This is a visible milestone in your journey in life together. So now, Sabrina, if you could please look at your handsome husband-to-be, Gerald, and repeat after me. I take you, Gerald, I take you, Gerald to, be to be my husband from this time onward to join with you and to share all that is to come, to give and to receive, to, and to, receive, to speak and to listen, to, and to, listen, to, inspire, and to respond, inspire and to respond, and all of our life together, to be loyal to you with all of my being. And now, Gerald, as you look at your lovely bride, Sabrina, please repeat after me. I take you, Sabrina. I take you, Sabrina. To be my wife. To be my wife. From this time onward. From this time onward. To join with you. To join with you. And to share. And to share. All that is to come. All that is to come. To give and to receive. To give and to receive. To speak and to listen. To speak and to listen. To inspire and to respond. To inspire and to respond. In all of our life together. In all of our life together. To be loyal to you. To be loyal to you. With all of my being. With all of my being. Now your rings, being circles, are symbols of eternity. These are made of precious metal, and they are the pure symbolic meaning of love, which has already united your hearts. So, brother, if you could please step forward and present Sabrina with Gerald's ring and Gerald with Sabrina's ring. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Now, Sabrina, please take Gerald's left hand, third finger, place the ring on his finger, and repeat after me. Gerald, Gerald. in giving you this ring, you, this ring. you can look at your bride. Sorry. It's okay. I join my life with yours, I join my life with yours. and pledge my everlasting love. With this ring, I thee wed. And pledge, and pledge my faithful love. My faithful love. Now, Gerald, if you would please take the lovely Sabrina's left hand, third finger, place the ring on her finger, look at her, and repeat after me. Sabrina, Sabrina, in giving you this ring, in giving you this ring, I join my life with yours. I join my life with yours. And pledge my everlasting love. And pledge my everlasting love. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. And pledge and pledge to be forever faithful to be forever faithful now there is an old irish blessing which i felt was somewhat appropriate for this weekend now you will feel no rain for each of you will be sheltered to one another you will feel no cold for now each of you are warm to one another you will feel no more loneliness for each of you are now companions to one another i have two persons standing before me there is one life between you. So go now into your dwelling place and enter the days of your lives together. And may your days be good and long upon this earth. And in so much as you, Sabrina, and you, Gerald, have consented together, pledged your vows, and exchanged rings, it is truly with much great pleasure that I get to pronounce you husband and wife and I know y'all probably practiced earlier before I got here but Sabrina would you like to kiss your groom would you please 
Okay, brother, don't look. Close your eyes. So now you two are now well and truly married. Huzzah! Yay! That's it. You're done.